You ready? I'm Bonnie Raitt, and you're... <laughs> yeah, excuse me, take two. Hey, Bonnie, what are you going on the road with the plane all over? Well, we got some great new stuff to play, which is why I wrote more on this record because I wanted to add these specific grooves to the live show. So in rehearsal, we're just having a blast, just stretching out on these tunes and digging back to some from old songs from the 70s and 80s that I haven't done in a while. And some, we spent a month learning songs that some of these guys have never even heard before, but I miss doing. So on any given night, you know, we'll be featuring the new album, but we'll go and do the you know, the handful of hits that I've had over the years that people still want to hear. We make them fresh, they feel different every night, and then I'm going to go back and dig deep from my old catalog. So will you be going back to the 30-year-old stuff? Well, 30 years ago was when I got sober, so there's that period of time, not that we were hammered all the time, but the first, the first 17 years were more like up at night and staying in the cities and seeing your friends after the show. And now we're more like spending what hours we have off in the day, taking, you know, getting exercise and getting out. But other than that, it's still, uh, the audiences are just incredibly enthusiastic and passionate. And, you know, I probably know what I'm doing more now, but it, I'm not going to kid you, it was a lot more fun and carefree in the early days. So what about when you when you're an instrumentalist? Have you still got that cutting edge? From Joni Mitchell days, there's just always been great women instrumentalists and leaders of bands. And then there's many, many more women playing in bands. Different, you know, Beyonce's got an all-female band, so does Prince. But you know, in terms of women singers that are fronting and making it up the charts, there's been an incredible rush of fantastic talent and all these women and men. But the women are handling their success with tremendous poise and wisdom. What do you think of the tragic death of BB? Well, I've known BB since I was 19, so just to be able to be in the presence of somebody with that much gravitas and, and uh, just an incredible talent, you know, I was just blown away by what a nice guy he was. And so we became close, and he appreciated my guitar playing, gave me a lot of encouragement. And just as a person, to watch how he interacted with his band members, you know, the press, his, you know, he just was the same guy all the time, extremely generous and humble, and nobody was having a better time than him. And that's our interview with Bonnie Ratterty. Thanks for stopping by and having a chat with us.